This is Night Winds by Carl Edward Wagner. Kane returns to the scene of his violent past, wielding his twin blades in revenge and retribution. And there he is, right there, riding a white stallion. And there, oh, you see that? Look at her. I bet he's going to save her, or he's going to probably kidnap her and use her as some sort of slave. I don't know. Cain, the mystic swordsman, ranges earth and time to confront the demons of darkness. Where once the mighty came has passed, no one lives forgets. Where once the mighty Cain has passed, no one who lives forgets. Now down the trails of past battles, Cain travels again to the ruins of a devastated city, peopled only by half-men and the waif they call their queen. To the half-burnt tavern where a woman Cain wronged long ago holds his child in keeping for the devil. To the cave of kingdom, to the cave kingdom of the giants where glory and its aftermath await discovery. To the house of death itself where Cain retrieves a woman to love. Is that her? Would you love her? Oh, she has a knife. She's a saucy lady. The past, future, and present are all one for Cain as he travels through the centuries. An intriguing hero, part savage, part savant, with a dash of satanic seasoning, says John Jakes. I'll read you a small excerpt. The Muse of Dream. Thoughtfully, Cain considered the slouched figure of his friend. Unbidden, a serving girl replaced the pitcher with a brimming one. Deciding to leave Opros with his mood for the moment, Cain was reaching to refill his half-emptied mug when he noticed someone moving toward them. The thick-set figure of Eberos, first assistant to Damchist, the alchemist, drew to a nervous halt across the table from him. His sweaty face showed lines of strain, and his deep-set eyes darted around uneasily, sensing that others across the crowded room were watching his course with interest. Though the other was not a frequent visitor to Stanchex, Kane knew Erbros through his dealings with Damgist. Leaning back in his chair, Kane waited for the man to speak. "'I've come to ask a favor of you, Kane. Ebros began licking his pale lips. A favor that will be repaid in double the same night. I think you want to borrow money, Cain returned dryly. If you want to read this book, which I recommend you do, I have a link below where you can buy it. <laughs>